Oh, it's one of the worst feelings <clears throat> I've ever felt in my life. This episode is sponsored by Magic Mind. More about it later on. Dimitris Vakrinos is here. You may know him as Vakri. Uh, you may know him from the previous podcast that we had two years ago. Yeah, we Something had quarantine, like so... Yeah, 2020, two maybe all three years, three years ago. Yeah, it was three. <laughs> <laughs> so back then we talked about working from home. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go check out the previous podcast. It was very interesting. You are back here for the second time. But this time we have <laughs> my death, the wings Facing at me. Uh, of the wings of death, the yeah. chicken nuggets of death. <laughs> the vegan chicken nuggets of death. <laughs> yeah. They are fake. <laughs> Fun fact, if you're watching this and you're wondering why it's different, uh, well, <laughs> first of all, like I could, I cannot eat gluten for the past month, so I have gluten-free uh, wings and nuggets yeah. and uh, Dimitris has uh, vegan nuggets so <laughs> yeah because um currently I'm in fasting mm -hmm. because of Easter yeah so has like diversity yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of diversity here <laughs> differently yeah, like even this is different size I don't know why but it's pretty similar don't worry yeah. um let's call them chicken wings <laughs> <laughs> something like that um do you eat spicy things uh, I was never fancy of uh, spicy things, but um, when I met you and um, I realized how um, how much you like eating spicy things and you transmitted this feeling of uh, how you, you have to be a little bit, um, it makes you feel proud that you can eat spicy okay. things, or at least that's how I felt it. So, yeah, I'm trying to um, get used to it. Okay. Well, I can't, I can't say that I'm eating. Uh, but I actually have to congratulate you for being here because <laughs> everyone else that have been here before you in this podcast with the hot wings, they normally like to eat spicy things. They haven't eaten to this amount, like to this spiciness but they have enjoyed eating that and when i met you you could eat you couldn't eat actually the nothing. supermarket hot sauce yeah, which yeah is nothing nothing what's like 500 in the scoville unit like the first one basically and you couldn't even eat that so over the past three years basically you could you basically trained mentally and physically to <laughs> to be able to to up your level so i I think that's very amazing. I think I'm um, going to be cool uh, at least here. Until the middle? Yeah, yeah, the middle, the first five. Okay. So yeah. for the people that don't know, those are uh, measured in Scoville units. And Tabasco, which is the most known known one, maybe you have tried, is around 5,000 Scoville unit. Uh, so the last dub we have here, it's the hottest one in the world, and it's almost two and a half million. So two and a half? Almost two and a half. It's two, <laughs> two plus. <laughs> so from like, if you think that Basque is hot at 5,000, then we are going to 2 million here. <laughs> Good luck. I'm really happy for you for facing your fears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully you're gone, not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> not so sure about it. Uh, did you want to start with the first one? Before the question? Yeah. We eat it. Th and that's how I, it goes. I'll yeah. ask. Yeah. Okay. Think it. <laughs> Think. Do you like it? Actually, it's tasty. Hmm. Hmm. You have to know that I haven't eaten anything all day. Nice. That's the best plan before eating hot things. I'm kidding. Do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you came in my podcast, it was number five. And I know that you wanted to be in number eight because you <laughs> love number eight. And then I feel bad of you not being at eight. So today it's number 18. At least you are at eight. This is why I wanted to be here today. <laughs> 18. Mm. Oh, I've made so many podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Otherwise, you will need to wait until 28. Uh, so now it's 18. Okay. Um, so back then, three years ago, I asked you what 
your goal and you said, I want to be a UX designer. And yeah, what's going on with that? Did you make that goal? Did you change over the course? What's going on? Actually, that's very interesting because I was pretty determined about becoming a UI UX designer. Mm -hmm. And um, I, in the meantime, I think I changed my plan mm -hmm. because um, I think that um, I can fulfill this need of mine of becoming a UI UX by doing some side projects and not becoming only a UI UX designer. Mm -hmm. So you can say that I have fulfilled my, I have reached my goal by participating in two startups, filling the post of the UI UX designer, but um, I, I'm still a generalist designer mm -hmm. because that's... Did you enjoy working on the UX? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's so actually pretty interesting because you combine uh, design and psychology. Mm. And that's pretty amazing. Okay. Never thought it about this mm. way. Yeah, okay. because if you think that you have to um, predict and anticipate the mm. the, the reaction, yeah, the reactions, the reactions yeah, of the user. <laughs> but normally people are reacting in a completely different way that you think. <laughs> <laughs> that's because it's a, uh, yeah, that's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so you still will work on UX design. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So what's the goal right now? I can't say that I have a specific goal. My goal is to have um, a, st a study large income mm -hmm. and uh, by doing uh, projects that are that I really like. Um, and you can say that uh, my next goal is to. Um, uh, to have two or three um, different startups or uh, companies mm -hmm. in general that um, I, they can be like my children mm -hmm. and I can be the, the product designer. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know the feeling when you have created something yeah. and you see it growing. Mm -hmm. Nice. How far do you think you are <coughs> to get that goal like you are? From one to ten, yeah, zero to ten. <laughs> zero. To ten. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I'm near five or six. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> pretty close. Um, and from what you mentioned in the beginning, I think it's very important to like, even if you have a goal and you change course, that's okay. I think people should mm -hmm. feel okay with that. Like, doesn't really matter as long as because maybe you have a goal and you're going to this direction and then you realize you want to do something else. Yep. So that's very important. Yeah, why not? Next one. Is it spicy? Mm, so and so. <coughs> this one is at 5,000. Like Tabasco? Mm -hmm. mm. No, it's okay. Okay, so like three years ago, I need to give context to people. Like three years ago, you couldn't, I don't think you could <laughs> even touch this one. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah, that's awesome. I already feel my tongue be a bit numb. <laughs> <laughs> already? On the second one, yeah. we have eight to go. <laughs> we have water and milk if you want to. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so you are talking about startups and I know that, I think we can talk about this one, right? Yep. The food bag. Yep. <clears throat> Actually, it's in the... Um, in the beta phase right now, but mm -hmm. um, I guess that when this podcast is uh, published, mm -hmm. it will <laughs> <clears throat> it would uh, already be um, well known. <laughs> Come on, it's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what we actually do is as far as I know, Greece is the um, number one country in uh, food waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in the top and we're not proud of it, <laughs> but we are. So we are actually trying to deal with this uh, problem mm -hmm. uh, with a pretty simple way. Uh, we have the um, food heroes, the restaurants, the, um, all the um, business. business related. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the business, and we have the food buggers, which are the cust who are the customers, 
So the procedure is uh, pretty simple. The business owner that uh, let's say owns a restaurant mm-hmm. and uh, has already prepared some food that he was going to to waste it mm-hmm. and uh, he is not going to sell it because it's close to the closing hours mm-hmm. uh, so he can uh, he can create uh, collect all this food put it on a f- in a food bag and um, make it available for the customer yeah yeah so a food bagger can reserve this bag mm-hmm. go to the to the business owner to the restaurant or whatever mm-hmm. and uh, take this bag for with um, a discount yeah a very big discount oh, for example okay. it can cost um normally it would cost about uh, 15 euros and it can he can take it for uh, four euros for example it depends okay. on, the, on the on the owner okay so basically the business owner doesn't throw away food and they make also profit from that exactly. the customer buys food for cheaper and also we don't waste food going to the carpet yeah so we have a win three win, win. win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say it's a fourth win uh because it affects the um, the economy of your country mm. if you go on a bigger scale okay so yeah you have four wins <laughs> okay yeah i know you are also involved with the like governmental um how do you call them ministries yeah ministries uh that will be involved in that yeah we are helping out we have their so favor that's yeah they cool. support us yeah <laughs> some means and you also have another app that i'm not going to mention because it's a secret one <laughs> maybe when this lands you can come back <laughs> yeah <laughs> tell us about De- it. i will definitely love to do a <laughs> podcast on this awesome do you want to try the next one yep <laughs> i think this it's going to be very tasty. This is with honey. It's like honey, yeah. This is amazing. Mm. I was sure you're gonna love this one. Mm. <laughs> Can you order me two of them? <laughs> it's amazing. I can't even feel the spiciness. Mm. It's only honey. Yeah, this one is very nice, very sweet and tasty. Yeah. Last time you also said that you're not working anymore as a photographer. Yeah. You are the co-founder of Photo Contest, the biggest photographic community in Greece. So yeah, um, you're not doing this anymore or you are involved, but you're not doing oh. photography. I'm still involved with Photo Contest, of course, since as a co-owner, uh, mm-hmm. I love, it's one of my children, <laughs> as I said. So. I'm still involved with this. I have um, a my minor role mm-hmm. compared to the other owner, George. Um, but uh, I, I don't think that I'm. I like uh, photography projects anymore. Mm. For example, if I, have, if I have a client that wants to hire me as a photographer or even videographer, um, I would my first thought would be to reject him Mm -hmm. and only if the project project is very interesting i would uh, go on with it and i I think like in the beginning you need to say yes but later on like in the states where now if it's not like a loud yes yes i want to do this i think it's definitely a no like uh, maybe (laughs) i don't know i think it's a no yeah so you're right yeah, definitely. Like if you're not passionate about it anymore, there is no reason to do yeah. that. But I'm still involved with uh, shooting weddings, but mm. only during summers, mm-hmm. because I think it's a um, it's a procedure that combines a lot of uh, different um, photography genres. For mm-hmm. example, you have to be good at uh, portrait photography, of course. Uh, you have to be um, good at uh, a bit of um, not exactly street photography but uh how do you say it like you're a reporter oh yeah yeah yeah. and you have to yeah to capture the moment without uh, yeah it's one time you you don't you you cannot miss it it's not stage it's not studio you need to uh you have to be good at a lot of different uh uh, genres so Mm. it's very challenging and uh, it's a job that you have to do it only during summers mm-hmm. so you don't uh, have enough time to get uh, bored <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Um, I want to get into clients 
I know you had the fair share of uh, good and bad clients, but I think let's ease into it. Like uh, for people that are starting right now, graphic design, freelancing, actually, uh, what tip you could give them to find clients, basically? Mm, the first tip that I give to everyone is uh, to have a very strong portfolio. Mm. I think that's the your, that has to be your basis. Mm -hmm. If you have this, you can uh, you can find any client, and I mean it, because even in our beginning or the first years for both of us, we Netflix came in contact, mm -hmm. so you, it's a, a very very good example of how you can. Uh, Mm, how a good portfolio can help you. Yeah. And I think you're starting with a good portfolio. It's going to give you, as you said, a big advantage because like I had other clients before Netflix contacted. And now I think we can say that. Yeah. Now we are also in Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. <laughs> and Amazon. But those came because we had the portfolio of Netflix, I would say. So it's exactly. like you start from something and then it grows, it grows. So basically clients will come to you instead of the opposite yeah imagine that uh, you may be capable of doing uh, of delivering a, a project for netflix or disney mm -hmm. but no one knows that you can do it so if you have a strong portfolio mm. proving that you can do it yeah um, then maybe the you have a lot of chances to get this job mm -hmm. and now I, I will also add like if you are have like a dream client maybe it's netflix just start doing like by your own, like do your own projects that are similar to what you would love to do. Like even if they're fake and then yeah. you basically show that you can, as you said, do that job, even if it's not real. You know, yeah. uh, I'm not sure if this happens to you too. Maybe it does, but I receive a lot of um, messages from people who are, um, <clears throat> who are following me and see that um, the whole procedure of taking a, the localization procedure mm -hmm. of taking it an uh, English title and design it in uh, in Greek mm -hmm. and uh, they are trying to do the same in their own language okay and they they're sending me the examples and they uh, are asking about my, my opinion mm -hmm. and saying how did you do it um, I'm trying to I've tried to copy your style is it good enough what do you think mm. yeah and that's uh, pretty um it's a very good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> like it in a way it shows that you succeeded in that. Like yeah. someone else is taking take he's taking inspiration from you and he's trying to copy that. It's like Yeah, and, and it's amazing. like you have moved on to the next phase, the next yeah. level, and someone has uh, taken your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As the the amateur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it's you, very you were the one doing that, copying. Yeah, exactly. So now it's someone else. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, copies it's you. pretty cool. <laughs> very satisfying. Do you want to try the next one? Are yeah. you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I also, I'm very happy for you because you achieved one goal that you were chasing for a lot of time now. Actually, you're going to do a second one, but the first goal was to buy a Tesla, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I was sure this is, was going to be one of the subjects <laughs> of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because That's I'm true. pretty excited about uh, yeah. Tesla and like I also wanted one forever. So having like you achieving that, it's almost like I also like did my small part of it. I yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> I know that you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it? You know, it's you can say that it's pretty amazing owning uh, such a car and um, all the um, uh, all the benefits that you have, mm -hmm. all the um, the technology and all that. But unless you have uh, lived with this experience, mm -hmm. and uh, for example, go having this car for a week at least, mm -hmm. um, you can't um, you you can't actually feel how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, at the beginning, before buying this car, I knew that uh, it's very convenient uh, not having a key, mm -hmm. using your smart smartphone as a key. But actually, when I day by day, when I was getting used to it, 
it seemed how um how useful it was mm. it was way more useful that you can imagine yeah yeah because you don't have to worry where where is my key uh, did i left it uh, at home in the car or whatever mm. you just go in the car open the door sit drive yeah, reaching yeah. your destination and then open the door go yeah one less leave thing the car think. yeah 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 it's amazing mm. it's, it's so small simple detail. yeah yeah it's small detail yeah nice i like it <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of people uh, uh would like to buy this car for the speed the mm-hmm. acceleration mm-hmm. F- uh, four seconds acceleration <laughs> but i think that there are a lot of small details that make this car uh, so much. Um, y- they give you a reason way bigger and mm. more important mm-hmm. than the acceleration. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, I have a section in the podcast where I ask three fast questions. So, <clears throat> first question If Tesla disappeared, like there's no more Tesla, what car would you buy? Audi. Audi? Which one? Yeah. Um, um, I need, I know that I have to, uh, uh to reply fast, but you I'm already f- replied like without this. Oh, okay. But okay. I mean, yeah. So it's the second phase now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I said Audi because it was my previous car, A3, mm-hmm. but, um, I was pretty satisfied mm-hmm. with Audi, their technology. And, uh, now that I own a Tesla, I know that. It's <laughs> it's a long distance <laughs> okay. from Audi to Tesla, mm-hmm. but if Tesla never existed, I would still uh, own an Audi. Okay, yeah, yeah. sounds fair. <laughs> uh, second one, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um, uh, keep um, keep doing what you want without worrying about uh, what other may think. What other may think of you okay that's a good one yeah because uh, there are a lot of um, situations in my life that uh, i'm not sure if i have uh, taken the right decision Mm -hmm. made made the right decision but um, later on i'm i think that i had uh, it was the right one Okay. But I was still worried about uh, what others may think. Yeah. yeah. Or mm. I was asking for um, uh, opinions. And and uh, I think others also, because they're not in your situation, they're going to think about it in the short term. So they're go- not going to see the long run exactly. of it. So, yeah, not always the best advice that you're going to get. Uh, so we eat one more before going to the third one. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Dirty dicks. <laughs> Do you like the name? <laughs> no. <laughs> good. Yeah, I feel very good that for people I'm that for for a person that is not eating spicy things, I think you're doing very good. We are getting to the <clears throat> hotter section now, but yeah, mm, I'm good. Go. So that's probably darker question, but since today we're eating this, maybe you're going to die. So (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to ask it. (laughs) So if you were about to die, (laughs) what you will be like the number one regret you will have? Oh, come on. (laughs) What kind of question is that? So are you supposed to ask uh, to reply fast? Um... (laughs) <laughs> Actually, I don't think that I have any regrets right now. I mean, I need to think way deeper in order to find an answer. Okay. Because I think that I have, um, as I said in the first question, um, I have made the choices that I was uh, that I wanted to make. Mm-hmm. So I don't think there's a very big regret that I may have. Okay. Second thing that you're going to do this year, which was something that you want to do for a long time now, it's going to visit Japan. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> On to this. And you're actually learning Japanese writing and uh, speaking to go there. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the full package. Mm-hmm. You have to go all the way. Mm-hmm. It's a very 
different um i feel like it's a very different uh, um a different universe mm-hmm. yeah it's about it's not just a different country the the people the culture the the buildings the, the language and i want to be um a bigger part of it mm-hmm. you know if you go there and you don't uh, understand the language <clears throat> <Sweet>. <laughs> If you go there and you don't uh, understand the language, you have missed um, half the experience. Mm. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah, I agree. Because it's like, uh, you know, if you don't uh, speak Chinese, for example, that mm-hmm. neither of us do, um, you can't understand Chinese and it's like uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go to Japan and you all you hear is blah, 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 it's it's pretty annoying Mm -hmm. so even if you know some basic words or phrases it can make your experience way easier and better at the same time Mm. yeah i agree like you lose half of the culture yeah uh, just by the definitely so yeah how many years did you want to go there (laughs) um i think when i was 15 years old that i was really uh hooked with uh, anime okay so yeah. almost like 15 16 years <laughs> yeah 17 yeah, 16 years yeah so it's finally happening yeah what's the f- first number one thing you want to do in japan mm, i don't think i have a bucket list for this um it's more about the experience of actually being there finally being there you mm-hmm. know just standing in the middle of the streets in Tokyo or Osaka or Kyoto, which are the three mm-hmm. cities that I'm going to visit and just um, taking a breath and mm-hmm. realize that you have actually done it. Okay. You know, you have made yeah. a lot of travel, so maybe you can understand this feeling yeah, can of relate. actually yeah. being there. Yeah, yeah. You have been to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close to Japan, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Really happy that you're going to go there, finally. <laughs> Me too. Take some time. Mm-hmm. I'm actually feeling numb, like the first one. Okay. Yeah, it was the first one. Second so one. The second one. Yeah. Hmm. Your tongue or general? Yeah, my, my tongue. My tongue. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. Interesting side effect. <laughs> <laughs> numb tongue. At least I don't have hiccups, and I can still talk. Yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, you're doing good. As a designer and content creator. I'm always trying to find ways to stay energized and focused. If you know me, you know that I don't drink coffee. And what I like about Magic Mind is that the energy that it will give you, it's not like caffeine that it's going to give you a boost and then drop out on you. It's going to give you that energy and stay with you for the whole day. There's so many ingredients in that small bottle that I cannot even remember them, but you know, the top of them are like matcha, nootropics, all the vitamins that you need, and they're all organic and natural. During the past weeks, I have seen an improvement on my focus and productivity during the day. So if you're looking for ways to have more energy, stay focused, and reduce stress without sacrificing your health, then I definitely recommend Magic Mind. If you want to try out the little magic elixir for yourself, then you can use my special link, magicmind.com slash distance to destination, the name of the podcast basically. And with my code distance20, you will get a huge 56% discount if you apply it in the first 10 days. The link will be an affiliate link. So by helping yourself, you're also helping me create more content like this one. We both had some bad clients, I think, and good clients. I would like to talk with you with uh, for with for clients from hell. I will call them <laughs> because I, I I know that you like talking about stuff like that. I like the definition. <laughs> I don't want to 
for people listening or watching, I don't want to, to be feel like we are just trusting our clients <laughs> because personally, I think it's not their fault. It's how we manage it as uh, designers. So maybe we can say what's bad about some bad clients and then try to figure out how we could solve that or give some tips on <clears throat> how designers can respond on mm -hmm. some situations. Mm -hmm. um, what was, obviously we're not going to say any names, but yeah. what was the worst client you, you <laughs> worst client you ever had? Two of them came in my mind. Um, both of them had the same characteristics. Um, and I think that's the number one problem. We, they are not uh, very communicative. Mm -hmm. You cannot understand what they're saying. <laughs> you cannot understand um, what they want, mm -hmm. but they still demand you to understand it. It's like they, they want to enter their mind and uh, understand their needs mm -hmm. without, um, without them expressing them first. It's like you have to read their minds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. And at the same time, they are angry that um, that you are not, mm -hmm. that you cannot read their minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. Um, so how do you handle that? Find like that. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think like this will be my default answer. Like if it's a bad client, just don't work with them but at the same time uh for people that are starting out or they trying to figure out the solution what? yeah obviously if you have the choice of um not choosing them mm -hmm. yeah then yeah just don't just say no it's okay to say no it's pretty okay to say no uh because it's not you you have to understand that you are um, you have the right to choose your client. Mm -hmm. It's not only the client that chooses you. Yeah. You can also choose your client. Mm -hmm. um, Basically switching your mentality because I think in the beginning we don't have that mentality. Exactly. Yeah. Because you're afraid of losing a client. Mm -hmm. When a client reaches you, you are very happy that you have another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you, there's a stage that you have to swap. Yeah, you have I to think change this mentality. Also, I don't like the term losing a client because basically you haven't lost it. He, he, right. He, he, you will, you haven't, if you start working with them and maybe they pay you some like 50% and then they stop, then you lose, you have lost them. But if you haven't start working with them, you didn't lose them. You never had them in the, yeah, but in the first place. Even in the <laughs> first situation that you mentioned, if mm -hmm. you, they have already paid you, for example, 50%. Mm -hmm of the amount that you have uh, agreed on um and then they decide to leave mm -hmm. that's okay yeah yeah totally <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's why you should get paid like 50 percent up front yeah that's a very basic yeah. tip yeah you don't uh, have to feel embarrassed mm -hmm. uh, of asking a, a payment and i think yeah most people are afraid to ask the 50 percent because they think they're gonna lose the client but personally i think it's a very good filter yeah, exactly. because you have some clients that are so excited to start working with you and everything. And then, then you say, OK, and we'll need 50 percent up front and then they ghost you. So that's <laughs> a very good indicator. That's a red flag of. Yeah, yeah. you shouldn't work with that client. <laughs> you have to watch out for the red flags. Yeah. What other red flags have you seen uh, before uh, we're starting? I with? think the, um, the one that we already mentioned, the communication. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big red flag, but it has a lot of different meanings. Mm -hmm. For example, um, you have to understand that he's not very good in communication. You have to, like being a psychologist and understand their character, their, mm -hmm. their personality, because maybe in the beginning everything is good, like a good relationship, but you have to be more experienced and to understand if they're going to cause you a problem in mm -hmm. the future. That's yeah, not yeah. easy. Yeah. Uh, I always try to speak their mm -hmm. language if I can, <laughs> but yeah, for some of them, it's very difficult. Yeah. And I think for some of them, they also don't want to communicate. They don't want to say a lot of 
share a lot of info to help you out, which is very weird. I yeah, but why? why they would do that? I don't know. <laughs> I think the, um, <laughs> the situation is when they don't know what they want. Yeah, yeah. And this is the most troublesome client for me. Mm-hmm. When they don't know what they want and you are trying to help them, you're trying to uh, clear up what they, had the, the, what they have in their mind, mm. but they actually don't want you to do it. They think that they know better than you. Mm-hmm. They indicate you how to do your job. Mm-hmm. And yeah, these are the clients that you have to reject. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, ready to go for the next one? Figlia, figlia. Are you okay? Yeah. You? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I think my lips are starting to get numb too. Before even eating this one. <laughs> nice. It's a very weird taste. taste. (laughs) I can say this one is a spicy one. Mm, (laughs) You can feel it too. (laughs) Yeah, it's very different. (laughs) How do you feel with this one? No, (laughs) I didn't like it. (laughs) It's very hot in here. That's actually very hot. I can feel it also. <laughs> I'm looking at my glasses here. <laughs> Your um, <Yeah>. lifelines. <laughs> I don't want to drink. <laughs> extra challenge yeah so have you ever need to fire a client <laughs> like you already start working with them they paid you and you need to fire them like you don't want to work with them fire a client yeah yeah was that a word on purpose fire <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about it this way <laughs> did you make a pun <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's actually pretty hard to talk <laughs> Um, fire client. Um, yeah, I think I um, didn't actually fire him. It's more. It was more like um, making them leave. Mm-hmm. For example, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. If you see attention around yeah, yeah, the yeah. eyes. <laughs> there was one time that um, I had experience with a client that was um, not very cooperative. Uh, he was late on payments, late on giving me the content for their website. And um, um, in the end, we, we managed to get through and uh, make the... And complete the project. <laughs> and um, and then after two years later, he asked about a second website. Okay. And I was um, not sure if I want to do this, mm-hmm. but um, I, ac- I actually somehow filtered him because I asked for double the amount. Mm-hmm. He was shocked, but. Um, uh, in the end, he he accepted, so I was okay. If I have to face this client again, at least it's uh, it worth it because the amount is double. Yeah, I think that's a very good tip. Like if you don't want to do the work, just ask ask for an extra charge, mm-hmm. ask for more. Um, say like a price that you would like to get paid in order to do that. Exactly. Yeah. And I always like to think about like that, like that, that extra payment is for my psychiatrist. That's the extra amount (laughs) I'm going to (laughs) pay to get treatment from you. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> so this is how I thought about it in the beginning of how to charge more for that reason. <laughs> um, and it's pretty satisfying actually because it's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. You may lose a client and say, okay, it was for my sanity. Was, yeah, <laughs> for my sanity. <laughs> and you can actually, and the second situation is that the, the client accepts and you're okay, I can earn more money. Yeah. And then you mentioned he contacted you after two years and I remember some clients that contact you for something after a lot of time. Like you're going to do the job. <laughs> Normally they're in a hurry and you need to deliver it fast. Yeah. And then after two months, they're going to contact you again. Can we do a change on that? And if you were like, you were in a hurry, you were in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. To, what happened? Why you're asking for a change after two months? I thought we we're done with this. Yeah. 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 What you will do in this situation? What? How can you face that? <clears throat> it depends on the client. Um, actually, I wouldn't um, comment on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's uh, it's their problem. I don't mind if they were mm -hmm. in a hurry and now they are not. That's okay with me. Um, but <clears throat> it depends on the client if I would um, like to do. Um, a quick turnaround for them. Mm -hmm. For example, if they want a change and they um, they think that it was part of our initial deal, mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the client if I'm going to ask uh, to charge for more or not. Okay. Um, what about clients that ask for a um, discount immediately? Like, <laughs> like first time they don't even know you and they immediately ask for a discount. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's for Definitely sure a red flag. Definitely a red flag. And that's, uh, there's a pretty easy way to filter this. Uh, you can say that I have already um, made a discount. You can find an excuse. Mm -hmm. an, an excuse that I use sometimes is... <laughs> there go the hiccups. <laughs> <coughs> the excuse that I use sometimes is that um, if the client wants a uh, package, for example, branding design, website, and uh, mm -hmm. something else, um, and they immediately ask for a discount, I say, I reply that uh, there's already a discount included because it's a package. And if you, mm -hmm. we were to do these uh, services separately, mm -hmm. they would uh, cost way more. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I also like to remove something from the package. Yeah, that's a like pretty good they tip. They want three things and you yep. say, okay, at this price I can do one of the three. Yeah, you. I think you always have to um, say, yeah, we can do a discount mm. because you have to make the client feel uh, positive mm -hmm. about you. Um, they don't like to hear no, mm -hmm. so you just answer yes, but yeah, yeah, we have to remove something from the service. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, any interesting stories with a bad client or funny story you had? <laughs> <laughs> I expect you to say that we're going to go the double. <laughs> and you you're asking go? about new questions all the time. <laughs> Do you want to go? Yeah, because that's my big fear. Okay, let's go. From and you can we... answer as we do. <laughs> yeah, I think. Okay. <laughs> No, <laughs> I think no one's ready to taste this one. <sighs> I think it's the worst. We have to do this. I think I'm not going to bite it. I'm going to swallow it. <laughs> not swallow immediately, but. pretty bad <laughs> it's disgusting <laughs> I think I can handle it yeah it's very hot it is <laughs> yeah I think it's more that that's very hot. the taste that's bad hmm it's like spice chemical. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I, I start feeling it oh. too. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! It's like you're, you're breathing, breathing fire. fire. Mm. I'm not going to drink the. Oh, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Better? Do I know it? Uh, <laughs> me too. So, clients from hell? <laughs> you ask for a specific example? <coughs> yeah, like a story. I think I need to keep the water in my mouth all the time. <clears throat> oh, come on. That was hot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's useless. <laughs> <laughs> you have milk. <laughs> Better? Ah. <laughs> it doesn't go away. <sighs> ah. <sighs> yeah. Should I start worry? What? <laughs> Should I worry about myself? <laughs> no, you're okay. You're fine. <laughs> <sighs> That's hot. <laughs> Do you have a story in mind? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, have, I have a lot of stories in mind. I'm trying to decide which one should I refer, should I say, say all of them? No, oh, come on. Start with the first that comes in your mind. The good thing is that <coughs> it was. Oh. <laughs> uh, the stories that I have in mind are in the past, way past. <coughs> so mm -hmm. this makes me feel that I'm. I'm becoming better on filtering clients. Yeah, you definitely are. Oh. That's the point of it, I think. <laughs> Is this one worse? You gonna tell me? <laughs> they say that the bomb is the worst. For me personally, I think the bomb is the worst. I hope that's true. <laughs> oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I think you're handling very well for someone that doesn't eat spicy food because I'm not able to speak for like 10 minutes now. <laughs> like even the people that what I are you brought, talking about? Even the uh, even other guests that I brought that eat spicy food, I think that was the reaction there of the, the bomb. But the hiccups are gone. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm doing well, and then I take a breath. And it's going fiery yeah, 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 yeah. And it starts all over again. Yeah. Do you have milk? I'm gonna bring you more milk. <laughs> you should. So, clients from here, yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there are children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to answer, but I can't. I know. <laughs> Do you feel that you're in hell? <laughs> I'm not going to give up. I'm going to finish with the rest of them, but right now. Can I get another year and then come back? Oh, but yeah. The kite is here. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to
Maybe if, <coughs> if I can combine them. <laughs> I actually thought you're gonna bring your own medicine, your own trick to <laughs> face <Wow>. the <coughs> spiciness. <laughs> Better now? Yeah. We're back? I think so. How, how do you feel? <laughs> I don't think Still I can describe numb. Um, yeah, <laughs> very numb. But I think the um, the fire has been re reduced. Uh, I think I can talk now. <laughs> oh, it's one of the worst feelings <clears throat> I've ever felt in my life. Well, I'm really proud of you <laughs> facing your fears <laughs> and your pain. Thank you, Sean. I'm increased. <laughs> so, um, examples of uh, what clients? Like any stories? Weird, Specific stories? funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as I said, it, there are all the stories that came in my mind uh, in the past so i can't actually remember details right now mm -hmm. spicy details <laughs> but um okay there was a client that um was uh, seemed pretty promising on the beginning mm -hmm. um the project was very easy it was um, a steady project you have i had to do social media design mm -hmm. co uh, content for for them like uh, every month mm -hmm. and was uh, <clears throat> i think uh, i thought well, i had achieved a deal that was pretty in favor of me because it was a pretty good amount for um uh for a um, very for easy tasks yeah that um it took me about like 10 minutes okay and um uh, at first um <clears throat> it was like um great that, that's a very easy project i like this project mm -hmm. but i had made a terrible communication with uh with the payment mm -hmm. because at first they were supposed to pay me at the end of the month and when the end of the month came they said that oh i'm good now <laughs> nice. it was like suddenly i'm good <laughs> nice uh they were like uh let's um I will pay both of them at the, um, on the second month okay. and this went on for like six months oh and no. uh, I was like, okay, that's pretty easy for me. So I don't really um, go in very, in a lot of trouble for doing mm -hmm. this job. So I, I can risk, I can take the risk of not getting paid in time, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> in the end I was never paid. Mm. and actually it yeah. was my next question yeah it, it was like um i think after eight months i said that i'm not going to work anymore if you're not going to pay the um, mm. the whole amount they paid me like two months okay. and they were like they were expecting me to go on with, in the next month with the next month uh, and um, I said, no, I'm not going to, mm -hmm. but uh, the, um, the worst part is that they, um, <clears throat> they never admitted that we're not going to pay you. They mm -hmm. were like, yeah, yeah, of course we will. And the, the yeah. days went by and uh, they I, never I paid me. I think they were trying to take advantage <laughs> of you as long as they could. Yeah, so you can exactly. keep working yeah, and yeah, yeah. having like <clears throat> the... In mind that maybe i'm gonna get paid at some point yeah and i think like if you don't have any experience and you're in the beginning it's very easy to fall in this trap yeah. and keep working for a year and not get paid at the end it's a very big pitfall yeah it was actually my my next question to ask you about not get if you haven't get paid in a specific project for example 
because um, this is i think where you learn to then charge 50 percent <clears throat> upfront for sure and make sure you're gonna get paid you need to to get punched in the face one time <laughs> yeah. to, to, to realize exactly. that exactly you have to eat shit it wasn't exactly in the beginning it was like in the middle of my career since uh today mm -hmm. so um, um i think i handled it the worst way that i could <laughs> Yeah, because if, if it wasn't way, way in the beginning, you could give an excuse to yeah. yourself. But as we proceed... I was like, inexcusable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, I see. <clears throat> but again, I think it was your yeah. your fault that you didn't manage it well. If yeah. you had handled it in the beginning well, then probably they wouldn't even work with you. Like, uh, Or they will do one month and then realize... We cannot take advantage you of know, him. Now that I think about it, there was <clears throat> a pretty good red flag that I didn't notice. They said that um, they had um, arguments with the previous designer. Mm. And <laughs> I should have thought it. That it yeah. wasn't the designer's fault. It was uh, their And end. I mean, like, yeah, going somewhere <clears throat> and they keep the, the trusting the previous. Yeah. It's like a red flag yeah. for that person that... And I uh, have yeah. already avoided two similar red flags and mm. I'm pretty proud about it <laughs> because <laughs> I finally saw them, but I had to fall in this trap before realizing the, how yeah, big yeah. this red flag was. Do you want to go for the next one? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to wait longer? I don't know what's better for you. <clears throat> I think I have to. <laughs> That's the whole concept. But I think I'm going to drink first. Until here, the taste was... Yeah, I think the bones, this is why it's the worst for me, because I don't like the taste of... <sighs> Go. All at once. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> mm. It says burn after eating. Mm-hmm. So I don't feel very confident right now. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> nah, this one has <clears throat> pretty bad taste too. <laughs> Come on, who makes this? <laughs> Nope. Nope. But the taste. You don't have the same effect as the previous nope. one. No, no. <laughs> but I don't like the taste. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to take this one and just <laughs> pour it in my mouth. <laughs> I like that you take the third one and it's calming now. Yep. It's uh, <laughs> suiting you. <laughs> I'm good. How do you respond to clients that? Uh, will respond with um, I will know when I see it like keep designing and when I see it I'll know that I like it mm, I think you have to um, take precautions for this mm -hmm. you need to be very <clears throat> strict <coughs> with the procedure you have to define the each step of the procedure mm -hmm. from the first one until the, the last one. And you have to be very strict. Uh, for example, you have to say that we're now we're on the third phase, for example, mm -hmm. we're going to do this. And you have the... Um, you're entitled to one tweak, one change, and mm -hmm. uh, no more. So um, that's all you have. And if uh, I think that if the client knows um, what they have to expect mm -hmm. from your side, <clears throat> then it's pretty um, pretty professional mm -hmm. to handle it this way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if uh, if um, to answer your question. If you have already taken uh, this precaution and uh, said that these are the steps that we're going to go through and the, the client um, tries to 
do something different you mm-hmm. have all the reason to uh to tell him that that's not what we have already discussed mm-hmm. um you know if uh, the client is very communicative you can uh, he has earned your trust mm-hmm. <coughs> and it's considered a good client for you then you can make uh, a small uh, detour and mm-hmm. um, g- uh, do him a favor yeah but the general rule is that you have to be pretty strict and um, mm-hmm. clear and professional it's not that you are bad mm-hmm. of them it's the it's that you are very professional yeah. The, this is the label that you have to give to yourself first mm-hmm. in order to be able to transmit it to the the client yeah i agree like it starts from the beginning from you and then you apply the rules yeah they have to respect you yeah definitely um what about when they bring a second obedi- opinion from like in random like uh, i saw that like they say that's okay that's cool and after a, a week they're like uh, I saw this to my wife and she thinks we need to do it pink instead of blue. We have already moved to the second phase. <laughs> <coughs> if they were... <coughs> if they had the right to do a change and they didn't um, take an advantage of it, mm-hmm. um, and I haven't already proceeded the um, way... Uh, more to the uh, to the next phase um i think i it's okay um mm-hmm. i can um, take a step back and make this change for him if it's not very troublesome for mm-hmm. me but um most of the times i think that you will find yourself in a situation that um uh the client uh, will um, you will feel that the client is um, dragging the project for no reason mm-hmm. And you have to step up and say no. Mm-hmm. This is what we have already it's agreed gone. on. Yeah, and uh, that's the way you have to go. If you were to take an opinion from from everyone, you don't mm-hmm. say it uh, like this. <laughs> you have to dress it more pers- uh, more yeah, pro- professionally. Yeah. But the um, the core message is that uh, you. Um, I think it's the messages are to for example first one you have to prove him that you are the expert mm-hmm. that your opinion the expert's op- opinion is what matters most than his wife for example mm-hmm. that okay it's your wife it's uh, maybe if it's a personal project it, uh, it involves her too mm-hmm. but if you want to do something um, you came to me in order to tell you what's best for you i'm sweating here (laughs) to tell you what's best for you and um, i think it's better for you to listen to me Mm -hmm. so this one is the first one and the second second one is that you um you have to make him understand that uh this may somehow block the procedure block the um the way this uh, project goes before because it's the the deadlines that are, mm-hmm. that you have it's the um, maybe you have already discussed about something and you think that you have made a conclusion about mm. the project and then his wife changes his mind and he uh, tries to change your mind and this red flag <laughs> yeah yeah for sure any <laughs> other big red flags you have seen in the beginning like so you could avoid that kind completely mm. when they are trying to um, rush you but uh, they are not um, um they are n- they do not admit that this is a rush for example this is a pretty recent example i had a, a call two days ago mm-hmm from um <clears throat> from someone that they asked to design uh, two logos for him in less than one week okay <laughs> and i was like um my first reaction was to laugh <laughs> 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 uh, 
because I, I don't know, it came out very naturally because it he was very strict and uh, I want uh, these two logos. And uh, I said, okay, when, when's the deadline? And he said next week <laughs> and I couldn't help it. Um, so I laughed and say, and answered, you know, that this is a very, very strict deadline, right? And he said, no, <laughs> I had already, um, discussed with, uh, two designers already. And they told me that, uh, that's, that's good. That's okay. We can do it. And I told him, okay, yeah, of course we can do it, but you know that the price will be at least double. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, send me the price and we will discuss. <laughs> of course, he ghosted me yeah, <laughs> after yeah, sending yeah. the price. Yeah. So this is a red flag. Yeah. <laughs> this is the conclusion when they yeah. don't realize that they are harassing you mm. because they are not, you can see that they are not expecting, uh, you, you can't expect their uh, respect. They don't yeah, respect yeah, yeah. you actually. You're just hands. Uh, that yep. they're gonna <laughs> give you some money and do that as quickly as you can. Uh, I think another red flag, like a big one, like usually comes way in the beginnings when they want to pay you in exposure. Oh, have I you totally it? forgot? Huh? No, um, yeah, in the very beginning. Yeah, that, that's why yeah. I think we forgot about it. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. way in the beginning. Yeah. Where they don't want to pay you out with money, it's just you yeah. get exposure. You'll get exposure, it, it's fine. I don't need your exposure. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know how the thing about this in in what war they think about it in this way, because I don't know if there is any other industries non-creative that <clears throat> people will do that. <laughs> that they will never go to buy bread and say, <laughs> I have a big company, I'm gonna give you exposure, <laughs> give me the bread for I free. think it can play a major role in the deal, but for no reason it would be free. Yeah, for yeah, example, yeah. you can, okay, I can give you a discount mm -hmm. if the exposure that you'll give me uh, will be great, mm -hmm. but there's no way I can do this f uh, for free. Yeah. Have you? done uh, projects for free in the beginning? Um, sure, but it was only for, for people in my very uh, close circle. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For very close friends or family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, but if I, <clears throat> the difference is that I have faced the same um, dilemma now that time my schedule is pretty busy mm -hmm. and I have a uh, family or friends that uh, ask uh, for me to do something and I'm not, I don't want to charge them. Yeah. Because they're very close to me, but <clears throat> <clears throat> the only thing that I do is that I ask for them to understand that my schedule is very, very busy mm -hmm. right now. I can do it for free. Of course, I don't want to charge you, but you have to give me more time. You have mm -hmm. to uh, adapt to my schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't meet your deadlines. You have to meet mine. Yeah. I think I'm in the same area. Like if it's a friend or family, I don't want to charge them anything and I don't want to do a discount. I want to do it for free, but then I'm going to do it in my own free yeah. time. So if it's going to be in three months, it's going to be in three months and yeah. we don't have reviews. That's one thing also. Yeah. Uh, revisions, not reviews. So yeah, this is when I'm, I'm going to deliver it and we are done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, are you ready for the last one? You made it all the way to the end. Oh. Come on, we don't have a last dub. Well, don't do it. It's a tradition to ask <laughs> to, to add a last dub in it. You don't need to do it. You know what I mean. Full <laughs> oh. You can do it yourself. No? I trust you. Oh, no. I got this. I have already tasted this one, 
but mm -hmm. like uh, a very small, a very <laughs> very very small amount <laughs> amount of it, and I was like, my mouth was burning for like ten minutes. <laughs> Ready for another ten minutes? We have one more question. Of hell, we have After this one. plenty of questions <laughs> if you want. <laughs> we have as many as you like. <laughs> Think. You see, after the bomb, everything seems quieter. That's true. <laughs> mm. Maybe I should put this one in the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid to take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> what about clients that ask for a trial? A trial <laughs> It's similar to free, but yeah, it's very similar. But um, I'm truth is that uh, there's um, I respect more the clients that are, that ask for a trial than the clients that ask for free. Mm -hmm. But they are very <coughs> close to each other. <coughs> there's a pretty easy way to handle this. You can um, you can say that I can do it for free for I can do a trial because uh, it would take me some time. Mm -hmm. It demands some time to be done, so um, you have to dress it uh, professionally. This one too, um, that I could get paid mm -hmm. in the same time. So, um, no, the, the, the one thing, the other thing that you can say, so it's pretty hard. <laughs> uh, the best thing that you can say is that, um, is ask them back why they need, uh, um, um, this, uh, trial mm -hmm. is trial the right word. I'm not sure. <laughs> like a um, yeah, you can say a demo. Know. Like a demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can ask them back why um, why they want this demo, mm -hmm. um, and um, and show them the, show them the previous <coughs> works, the projects that you have done, mm -hmm. which. Um, maybe pretty similar to mm -hmm. this one if you have never done uh, anything similar to this project you can still um, say something like it but um, if they if they ask you to see this to see the similar project you would be trapped so mm -hmm. the best way to handle it is to say that I haven't done anything similar but from my perspective, these projects mm -hmm. are pretty similar to um, to yeah. my occupation because mm -hmm. the client may have a very different company than the yeah. the, the previous project. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. from your end, what you have to do for them, mm -hmm. it's it's the same thing. You have to deal with the same mm. problems. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Like this project is about a restaurant. You don't own a restaurant, but basically the the problem we solved through branding was the same. So exactly. Yeah, I definitely agree. And you have always, you always need to, to focus on solving their problem. Kapari. <coughs> 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 And a pretty good tip here is to um, to focus on <clears throat> to manipulate the discussion in in order to focus more on what is their problem mm -hmm. and not 
letting them indicate you how to solve it. Mm-hmm. The, um, <clears throat> the way things should go is that the client comes to you mm-hmm. uh, addressing to you in order to solve their problem and not show you how to solve their problem. Mm-hmm. If they know how to solve them, how to solve it, they can solve it themselves. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so you need to focus more on what is your problem and then show him how you can solve their problem. Mm-hmm. Maybe they don't even know what their problem is. Maybe yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a different um, idea of um, or perception of their problem. Mm-hmm. So if you focus on this one, I think they you will um, it will earn you a lot of time and save you from a lot of trouble. You haven't drink anything. <laughs> no. You won't mind? Oh. <laughs> no. <clears throat> also, what you said, I think, solves another problem of people saying that I have a nephew that I can do the same <laughs> thing or I can do okay, it myself. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because basically, they're not, they're going to just ask for a logo and they're going to do like a design, but they're not really solving a problem yeah. that they may have and they don't understand they have. Exactly. So that's a good point. Uh, a pretty similar. Um, <coughs> situation uh, <clears throat> good yeah <laughs> I faced the the previous month a, a similar situation where um, I had a client uh, for for a lot of time oh, I think I touched my eyes oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh come on take a new napkin <laughs> oh, why did I do that Oh, it's burning like here oh no um so, to wash it no okay. so um it was the first client that i ever had and okay he's pretty dear to me for this reason and um <clears throat> he came to me after um we're ha- we have done a lot of projects together so he came to me uh, um, one month, one month ago, and uh, he was preparing a new project, mm-hmm. uh, but this time was with a partner, partner of him. So um, he told me he asked for a for a price. Mm-hmm. I gave him a pretty good price because he's a good client of mine. But I made, <clears throat> I raised the price a little bit because he's not alone. He has a he has a partner. And uh, he he called me back a bit uh, frustrated mm. and told me I was expecting a way lower price. And I was pretty calm and asked him why. And he told me um, there's a typography center here in the corner that can <laughs> can give me like ten. Um, <clears throat> 10 proposals of a logo design for like half your price and you ask the double the price for only two proposals okay and i was still pretty calm i actually uh, laughed uh inside and told him okay you can go there that's fair with yeah, me yeah, yeah. it's not that i know you from for like 10 years but if you want to go with them i'm i'm okay mm-hmm. yeah i'm not going to uh, lower my price so much because yeah, yeah. I know my my value. I know what I can offer you that they cannot. Yeah. And I think also that's the tricky <clears throat> part when you know someone from the beginning and then know your price that you had back then and now you're five years later and you have... They, they expect you to have the same, the price. same price forever. Yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I think they are doing the same in their um, field of uh, occupation yeah probably but they are not expecting you to do the same Mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense yeah and i think that's also something that the designers don't have in mind like they think they need to keep the same price forever and they don't see that they have grown so they the prices are growing with them true so yeah Uh, what you say is true because i found myself in a similar situation Mm -hmm. Uh, I was thinking about my pricing and um, I felt like I hadn't raised my prices for a long time. Mm. And uh, in the me- it's not that I have to raise my price 
because just to raise it i mm-hmm. <clears throat> i thought that i have grown mm-hmm. in my expertise um i have bigger clients with something that you can take advantage of mm-hmm. for example <clears throat> We started having Netflix, mm-hmm. both you and me. Now we have also Disney and Amazon. Mm-hmm. So of course, if HBO comes, for example, yeah, <laughs> our price wouldn't be the same as having only Netflix because now yeah. uh, you are th- you are the expert. Yeah. You are the localization expert right now. Yeah, exactly. That it's not like you're begin starting doing that now. You have like five, six years of yeah. experience of it. So it's. Like even if you're an employee, after six years you're getting a different paycheck. Yeah. It's not the same when you were starting. Exactly. Um, one other thing I was thinking was like, maybe that's not a bad client. <clears throat> you have went through the process as normal, but at, at the end they're not happy with what you have done. But from your point of view, have um, you mean with the final result? Yeah, you have delivered, or maybe it's the, just you know in the middle, but in probably in, in the end because you have um uh in your mind you have done like whatever you, what your promise was you have delivered and whatever you agreed in the beginning it was you have supposed done to that, be done but yeah. them they're not happy with the design for example how will you face that <coughs> i think again my answer is that you have to um, take precautions and um try to avoid reaching to this uh, uh, stage because if in every phase that you go through um, satisfy the client, mm-hmm. they it's not normal to go to the final uh, stage uh, phase and uh, suddenly something yeah, uh, went, uh, went sideways. Mm. It's not normal. Um, if you don't uh, make sure that your client is satisfied in every phase, yeah, you're going to face this mm-hmm. and it's going to be pretty awkward for both of you. Um, so yeah, the, the best solution is to make sure that for, for example, if it's a logo design, <clears throat> you have to make sure that, um, you have to avoid presenting the whole design, uh, the final result in um, in the end yeah in the end immediately (laughs) you have to go through the stages the the colors the everything Mm -hmm. yeah definitely agree i think that was a very good answer to close (sighs) on uh any final advice you would like to give to young designers that are facing problem with clients don't be afraid to admit your value uh you may have more the service that you that you provide may be of more value than you th- that you actually think. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are we're designers who have, I would say, pretty blessed um, occupation, because even in the crisis and the, the the COVID, all these we have faced so many difficult situations, and um, our <clears throat> our occupation is still going uh, mm-hmm. growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to understand that you have um, you are talented in an occupation that it's going to be on demand every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I think like, like client, like designers, we sometimes forget about the value that we give. Yeah. So that's very important. Where people can find you? What's the best place? I think my website, mm-hmm. vacri.gr. Mm-hmm. And, and then from then they can find all the social media. Yeah, I will have also the links for the social media. Well, thank you for doing that. I know it was like a painful, painful <laughs> path to hell. <laughs> Stairwell. Um, yeah, you know, only the bomb was uh, like the most painful. Yeah, it was very, very <laughs> difficult to deal with. <laughs> Uh, the rest two were okay. I know they are not eating spicy food, so thank you for doing that. Thank You're you for giving brave. me this opportunity to to do this challenge. Now I would never do this on my own. 
And now you can say you, you have done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs>